Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I've got to tell you about a pet peeve I've got, and I get this from experience of working with so many people over the last 30 years. One of my biggest challenges is when I work with people, sometimes they come in here after they've read a self-development or self-improvement book. And nothing against many of the authors that write these books. However, I have a problem with people depending on the information in self-improvement books because many times it's contradictory and it confuses people. I believe the greatest wisdom one has is themselves and sometimes it lies within common sense which I know sometimes that isn't that common. The problem with self-improvement books today is there are so many of them. Everybody's writing a book on their opinion of how you do this or how you do that. And there's really only one way to do it. And that is to find your own path, use common sense, and understand Einstein's theory on really how things are supposed to be. And his quote was simple as this, hard is good, easy is bad. When you're wanting to improve upon yourself, and everybody wants to in one way or another, no one wants to be a schlock all their life or be toxic all their life or really be negative or depressed. So we resort to sometimes outside sources, books, and that's okay to gain knowledge. However, many times I find people read so many of these that they get so confused and overwhelmed because it just seems impossible to do what the books say. It's like the movie The Secret, which I love, and many of those people in that are my friends. However, there's a lot of missing information in that movie on how to manifest, and they make it sound just really simple. And if you can't do it, you're stupid, and that's not the case. Self-improvement books sometimes have a negative effect on people. They make people dig deeper in or become even more depressed or upset because they've attempted those things and they just don't work for them. Remember, there are no cookie cutter ways to develop yourself, to improve upon yourself, to become a better person. You just have to take it one day at a time and do your personal best and only we know what that is. Many times if you do ask for help, it's better to go to a live coach, someone you're actually talking to, someone like me, or maybe you have someone who does that that specializes in working with people one-on-one, -on -one, just to give you a little guidance and direction. Because here, I look at each individual as an individual. These books, they just can't. They're writing for the masses, and there's a select 10% of the people, they can read that book, do it like the book, and it works. The rest of us, mere mortals, we got to work at it a little harder. And sometimes we have to find that exclusivity within ourselves and understand this is different about me. I have to address that in order to get this to work. So my caution today is be careful when you read this stuff. A lot of it's really, really good. But be honest with you, a lot of it's nonsense. And everyone wants to write a book. Many people ask me, do I have a book? And the honest truth is no. And that's the reason I haven't written one. I, I think the world does not need one more self-improvement book. What they require is the ability to learn how to do that with their own resources the best way they can and seek help that's objective and very, very objective towards them individually. That's how you're going to get the job done. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to live an authentic life. You're good just the way you are with a few tweaks every now and then. You're okay. I appreciate you watching the tune-ups. Let's get on that cruise. We're getting ready to kind of tie that thing up, so I would love to have you come with us. It's not going to be until next May. However, we would like to know who's going to be involved as soon as we can, so contact that number on this website or the link that's on the email that you were sent. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.